so another uh, episode, uh, live taping of Bitcoin Bottom Line from the Bitcoin 22 uh, conference here in Miami. And uh, so excited. I'm so excited. This is great. So this is definitely like we're getting all kinds of people to come through here. And uh, now we are joined by a horse racing, NASCAR, wrestling, and Bitcoin, I guess, I don't know what do we call what what, what, do, what do we call I'll you? I'll take How do we the do introduction. Yeah, you it's know? like you you've got your you've got a lot of hats. There's a lot of after COVID I and the lockdown. I said I will take whatever is thrown my way, and a lot has come my way. But um, yeah, I guess in Bitcoin and the crypto world, I'm have an executive role at Hedge. Exactly. Which is get paid in crypto, um, where a wire transfer program where you can give something to your employer, get ACH wire transfer into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin for right now. Mm. Don't get mad. People get very mad and passionate when I tell them. You lead with Bitcoin. That's it. That's I know. We're good there. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. And then we also transfer into a wallet of your choice mm -hmm. or hold it wherever you want. Okay. And um, yeah, a good way to get around the banks, having things flagged. Yeah. But also a big thing now that a lot of people have a hard time with is they, they don't know where to really like, like how much of their, of their paycheck to take in right. Bitcoin, right? So then this is an experimental thing for them to sort of dollar cost average, take it out of their own hands so the sure. emotions don't get like, because Bitcoin's emotional yeah. with the swings, You have the swings, to right? remove the emotions out of your <laughs> right. best um, business. Yeah, but you can do a percentage, you can do a dollar amount, and it's just something that's consistent. You know, everyone used to do it for the retirement plan and that's going nowhere. So right. um, why not kind of dabble into crypto? And I think for a lot of people that don't, know much about Bitcoin or, you know, whatever they want to go to, I think Hedge is a good way to say, I'll just start, right. put like $5 every day or whatever right. it it's is. Something. You know? and, and yeah. I think that that approachability is one of the hardest things to communicate to new Bitcoiners, yeah. which is because they see the price and they're like, oh, it's 45 grand, it's 60 grand, it's 20 grand, whatever. They're like, I don't have that much today to spend. Totally. But it's like, yeah, you don't need to. You, you kind of go with the sats and you just yeah. go a couple bucks at a time. And one, I have a block clock at home, which is like a really oh. cool device. And one of the thing, displays you can put is how many sats per dollar. Mm. So when that goes up and Bitcoin's effectively going down, I'm thinking, oh, my dollar is actually purchasing more sats. It makes me happy. Interesting. As opposed to, mm. oh, no, Bitcoin's Where'd going down. Where'd you get down. this clock? It's, uh, they need to pay you for we'll this promotion. After, now we'll I exactly. want the clock. We'll talk after this. Buy the this clock. Great. Yeah. But that's interesting, too, because a lot of people that I talk to that either are athletes that have no idea about the space or right. um, women a lot of times too because they'll come to me and be like can you simplify it i want to learn like moms can you can you can you, can you mom explain it to me yeah and i'm like <laughs> i'm like i don't have time but is that they're like oh i don't have sixty thousand dollars i'm like no 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 you buy one five hundredth yeah. of a bitcoin yeah they're like oh they're so like, that's like a weird concept in itself i guess yeah. understanding um but there's just so much to the space. I mean, yeah. even the NFTs last night, being in Miami, there's like every NFT Well, last space week was actually is. NFT week. Yeah. Or in yeah, LA. Yeah. NFT LA, right? Oh, yeah. So here's, yeah. so uh, Steve and I are both big wrestling fans. Okay. So I'm going to let Steve and ask. It just first. came from WrestleMania. I'm yeah. exhausted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lead us with the wrestling question. Okay. Well. <laughs> is it real? I don't know, man. Now, 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 like, now, like, now, 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 like, going at it. You know, you're asking. I'm mic'd wrestling. up, so I can't suplex you because like the mic will rip. So you're safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. Because I that I you're do scared. not want that to happen. Okay, I'm great. scared. I don't want that to happen. So, so, so you were in wrestling before, and then you just got back into it. So, so you're one of the top women in the WWE right now. Yeah. So, like, I wrestled for six years mm -hmm. um, under the name Summer Ray. Mm -hmm. Was my wrestling name. Um, and I left, I have a bad neck, I have thoracic outlet syndrome. You played baseball, right? So you know what that is. Yep. A lot of baseball pitchers have mm -hmm. that. Um, but it's manageable, and I just thought I could do so many other things. And then I was gone four years, hadn't wrestled in five, and I just returned at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Yes. And I took a percentage of my pay-per-view money um, in to, personally, I went into Ethereum. Um, through Hedge, so it was cool, it. yeah. Okay, so then, so it. here's my question, right? Yeah. As a wrestler, how much of your identity is tied up in your in your choice of outfit, right? Because oh. like you have to really, you have to really. Okay, because one of the things about yeah. about crypto people, like crypto people, right? And I'm saying this, that's typically a little flashier, right? Okay, yeah. Wrestlers, I think of typically. Like, you know, depending on if you're a guy or a girl, if you're a good guy or a bad guy, yeah. there's like a whole thing there. Ray Mysterio obviously For had sure. the sick mask. He uh, still does. I know, just saw Ray over the weekend. Like CM he Punk was age. like Speedos only. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. and some people are like, you know, like some, 
Some people are wearing crazy like knee-high boots and stuff yeah. like that. So how do you select the costumer? Yeah. How do you select the, the how do you select the stuff and how often do you have to like switch it out because you're like, oh shoot, my boots are torn, I gotta get new ones. Well, I mean I definitely think I always kept the same kind of gear for my whole time because you want to be consistent. Right. Um, but they give you a lot of creative freedom at the beginning, even with the names, like getting named, that's like the number one question mm -hmm. I guess. Like how did you get your name? Right. I don't know if to say it, this was like 10 years ago, but you submit like a list of 20 names and hmm. then they go to corporate headquarters and they come back. See what they can um, copyright basically. Yeah, yeah. and it's kind of like um, interesting because it goes in ways. It goes like super gimmicky, weird, which I think summer is like unique or they have a name like Baron or whatever. And right. then they go to like Jack and Jill and Tom, you know, so right, it's like right. yeah, a yeah. weird motion. Um, so Dusty Rhodes, American Dream Dusty Rhodes mm -hmm. was my main mentor when I was there, my teacher. So when we're going mm -hmm. th through things like picking your gear and your look and even your hair color, if a guy wants a beard, if he shaves it off, that's like the number one thing too. Vince will be like, mm -hmm. go change your look. And a guy just shaves his beard. And he's like, like, I love it. Whoa. And I'm like, you just shaved <laughs> so your you beard. So you did the same thing. He's a genius, yeah. right? Like, yeah. He's New person. Yeah. You're hired. Yeah. yeah. So, well, um, yeah, it's up to you to do whatever you want. Like they don't yeah. tell but can you, you. Can you name your own moves though? Like, could yeah. you have a, could you have a, a move called the difficulty bomb? For, right? Yeah, okay. sure. So wow. joke, I love right? it. So, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah that's bomb. interesting. There it. should be like a superstar that's like a crypto superstar. Oh no my one's gosh, done I got that. It. I'm gonna give this to you, open source for free. Okay. okay. Free open source software right here. This okay. Is my idea. You're gonna have a move called the Havening. Okay. Okay, where you're gonna Ooh. fold somebody over, you know? Cut them in half. You're gonna, you're gonna cut yeah. them in half. You're gonna chop them somehow. So maybe I fold them in like leg kick. Yeah. Wow. Like the back of the knee, like like, like uh, Dumb and Dumber with the whip. Yeah. Call it the Bitcoin yeah. happening. The Bitcoin happening. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then yeah. um, you could have another one, uh, like you're getting amped up and you start you start hashing for more power. Oh. Right? <laughs> or it could be a chop, is a yeah. hash. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you could get, you could get every, you have everybody with the hash, hashtag sign, yeah. right? Yeah. Or just make crazy long strings of numbers. Yeah. yeah, that would be. That, it's see, there's like so like, many. There's so many angles well, you could take. And wrestling's just been along, around for so long that it's right. really hard to reinvent the wheel. Like in my entrance, I sit on the top rope, mm -hmm. and I like lay my legs and I hair flick up. But even that, I remember, I have no. I created that. I don't I know how it. I did that. Like, right. but it's like so many entrances have happened that if another girl got up on the road right now I'd be like oh you're copying summer like yeah, so yeah. the fact there's no crypto not like that is genius brilliant brilliant like i'm just here for ideas i wonder I'm a why they have it. i'm a marketing person <laughs> yeah. i like marketing and i so. only saw vince for like a split second during one of the raws at nashville yeah. actually and i said to him i was like oh yeah i'm gonna be on fox business um because i'm taking a portion of my pay-per-view money for the rumble and crypto he's like oh that's great He's like, you're in that? And I, I was like, it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> doing Bitcoin. Let's That's go. It's, it's, I have a bad like the, impression oh, of this. No, the, meme, amazing. the memes of Vince amazing. McMahon are so great, though, because uh, there's the one where it's like, he's like, hmm, and then he's like, oh, and then he's like, oh, and then yeah. it's like laser eyes, you know? <laughs> exactly. He's so, and he's great. 76 and like in such amazing shape. Like, it is really incredible. But yeah, well, yeah we need to teach him about Bitcoin. I need to get in there. You have we to. You have to. Let's, let's so, do so, it. So, Got enough money. Here's the other thing, though. Yeah. We, CJ, CJ gave you quite an introduction, but he left out a few things. Okay. He left out the fact that I heard that you used to play football. Yes, there's a lot of things. That, <laughs> the, the interesting thing is like... Are you actually a superhero? I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah. Summer Rae the superhero. I was like this big business dinner last night. I don't know how I find myself in these situations. And like people are introducing themselves like CEO, CFO. And I'm like, yeah. hey guys, I just came from WrestleMania. Um, I'll put and your ass in a headlock. This, <laughs> this one lady was like, she's lived like 12 lives. And I was like, not really. But then the more I hear it, I'm like, what? Yeah. That is yeah, crazy. Yeah, you've I'm like that lives. too. I, I, I feel like yeah. life is very short okay yeah. so you have to cram it all in for yep. sure like someone is. said so. something about asia i was like oh i lived in asia for three months they're like what i'm like i don't know yeah, I like um, top six. Like, yeah, yeah so went to college east carolina university got my degree <laughs> never used it um and <laughs> college is overrated college my kids do not have to i do not have kids no, it's not gonna happen. but my future kid um yeah so i jumped right into the workforce for like a year and said this is not for me quit my job moved chicago didn't know what a parka was had never seen snow mm, yeah. moved chicago you're from the carolinas yeah from the carolinas i'm like oh so then started playing lingerie football league full-on tackle football but i did the um pr for them i was like oh i like that yeah girls started blowing out mcl pcls acls and i said well, if everyone's getting hurt, I should go do what I really want to do, yeah. which was wrestling. Right. And I think I was scared to fail. I yeah. think really when I look at it, I was like, it's so much bigger than me. How will yeah. I get in? 12 girls, 80 guys. Like, the, especially for the women. 
And then I worked at Comic Con for Marvel in Chicago, and mm. Jerry the King Lawler was there. Okay. And I nice. ran up to Jerry in like the little like sexy Marvel booth babe outfit, mm. and I was like, I want to be a wrestler. I've been googling it, and he like yeah. looks around. And he's like, Who's pulling a prank on me? Right. And I'm like, What? And I'm like, No, no, no. I'll tell you what happened on Raw. Yeah. Gave me information. Got a tryout. Was the hardest thing I've ever wow. done, but um, was the best thing ever. Yeah. Well, speaking of football. Yes. Okay. So you live in Nashville now. Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Or, or, or am I doxing you? Yeah, no, okay. here and there. Like so, I'm all over. So come stop. one of the really <laughs> <laughs> I will suplex you. <laughs> so 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 you're a professional wrestler that takes yes. payment in crypto mm -hmm. and you're also working for Hedge. Yes. Hedge is also I'm working also with Satoshi. You're also Satoshi. Yeah. We are also, we're, we're also we Satoshi. Are, we are okay, also yeah. Satoshi. Um so we have now uh, one of the top Soccer players for, yes. for, for Nashville's uh, MLS team, CJ Sapong, yes. who's amazing. Amazing. Absolutely Such a amazing. Guy, guy, family oh. guy, great guy. Yeah, taking, taking his paycheck, all of his paycheck. Is he? By the way, in Bitcoin. Oh. So he's, he, he just won up to you. Uh, yes. Yeah, he yeah, for yeah. Sure what, you don't, you don't believe in this? I'm not going to go ahead and tell the percentage, <laughs> but it was not all of it. And then there's also several <laughs> uh, football players. Yeah. Uh, American football players for that sure. are taking it in Bitcoin through, through Hedge as well. We actually, um, with Hedge, I think it was like last May and June, we started having Zooms for MLS players and their wives or yeah. whoever they wanted to bring on. And we just did like crypto, intro to crypto 101. It's necessary Because though. it's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. So many of my athlete friends, mm -hmm. their financial advisors have been advising them not to buy. Because, they and, like, because they're gatekeeping. For sure, they don't understand yeah. and like, right. not yeah. going to drop the names, but the companies they're working for mm. all of a sudden around September and October mm -hmm. send out a massive email. Hey guys, if you want to do crypto, like Goldman and certain, you know, JP Morgan started yeah. kind of coming around to it. But yeah. it was interesting with the soccer players, they really. Oh, they're all in. What's wrong with the baseball players? They're coming. We can talk about that in part two of the yeah. interview. Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> you know what? Let's do Here part two. You want to yeah. do part two? Yeah, we'll have to do part two. We're doing part two parts on yeah, this. Because you have to go speak soon. Yeah. yeah, I gotta talk about. I don't even know. Some of my baseball about. players, friends, it's interesting because they're super into NFT. I oh, buy, buy this NFT. Look at this, this, that, and then I'm like, well, let's learn about blockchain, and they're like, what? So yeah. um, there's a great documentary that I love on Amazon called um, Oh God, Keeping Up Bitcoin, or it's um, with this lady in South Africa. Have you seen it? It's 45 minutes, and it int it intros blockchain so surface mm. level and some of my friends that play for the Braves so we all watched it mm. banking on Bitcoin that's mm. what it is yeah, yeah. 45 minutes on Amazon it's from Prime. a couple years ago I think right? yeah, yeah and yeah, it's this yeah. woman yeah. in South Africa she buys she made all this money off Bitcoin she just buys chickens and she wants to like have her farm she's nope. a chicken max no Lamborghinis <laughs> no Lamborghinis sprung extra on the chickens the doors go up on the chickens too totally yes yeah. <laughs> exactly and it's, so, same thing. it's so interesting because they're in this heavily um, famished impoverished like city Mm -hmm. And they yeah. put it on um, blockchain and they put the electricity, like the meter, mm -hmm. on a blockchain and people were able to directly give to the charity mm -hmm. and it went directly to the prepaid meter for the electricity. So it's completely turning this village around. And wow. in that moment I said, oh, it's not Lambos. It's worldwide. And it's worldwide getting sound rich money. or decentralization. Yeah. Yeah. It can really do so much good for the world. Yeah, totally. and, and that's where I come in because that's sort of what I do in my spare time, which is fleeting. But I do uh, Bitcoin advocacy in D.C. Oh, so cool. I go and talk to the Congress about, you know, what what Bitcoin can do in their particular state. Yeah. Some states, Rust Belt states, they've had, uh, you know, like factories closed down. They have all this infrastructure there for power. Yeah. And that's where like the mining comes in. Interesting. And that's like the like we're, there's a big a bunch of big facilities in Texas that have taken over like old aluminum smelting plants. Yeah. Or you know in the East Coast they'll have some old coal plants that are sort of throttled because people left that area. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so Bitcoin miners are kind of going in and snapping up those brown fields is what they call yeah. them technically. And then yep. they're they're kind of revitalizing that and bringing more more revenue and money in. It, so it's, it's so you're you're <laughs> adding you're adding to a place. Right. Whereas a lot of economical stuff for years is extractionary, right? So mm -hmm. I I live in a farming area in California, and so all the farming trash stays there, and we have to deal with the farming trash. The right. money you know comes from out. Side, the food goes outside, yeah. and then that's really where there's a, a disconnect. Whereas in, in Bitcoin, the energy uh, that you can build around Bitcoin mining allows you to power more places because right. people live in like clumps, you know. Right. But if you put yeah. and you, you don't really want power stations right next to people because mm -hmm. it's like an eyesore, you know. It's like microwave. So, yeah. So there's this <laughs> there's this sort of you know uh, checkerboard you know mm -hmm. vibe that you have to have with the power grid itself in order to spread things out. 
So it, as you get deeper and deeper into Bitcoin, you learn all these different disciplines, mm. just like martial arts, right? Yeah. You're going to be a yellow belt, a green belt, a, a brown belt, right. whatever. And you're going to learn new moves along so the way. So many layers. You know? yeah, always layers. something yeah. always new something to learn. Yeah. Everything's yeah. changing. And it's evolving underneath you. So it's, For it's, sure. You know, like last night I was talking to a guy that um, is into mining as well. And he was telling me about um, where mining's going as far as like the efficiency and like mm. taking the waste. Yeah. And yeah. being able to utilize the time period that most people shut off. Mm -hmm. And being to able to increase that, so they went yeah. from like sixty five percent efficiency to seventy nine percent. They're in Chattanooga, right. and he was like, "It's insane! Like what we can do with that extra wall people are sleeping or yeah, whatever." Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, well, well, one of the most interesting things uh, we, we we I was I was moderating uh, of this mining panel this morning, and yes. you know I learned so much just from just from moderating. You know, yeah. for the biggest miners out there, and one of the things that we were talking about was the uh, the Texas power grid. Mm. You know, Texas has oh, its own yeah. power. Grid. Yeah. Most of these guys are just jamming down there to uh, yeah. to to work on that grid because they're mining Bitcoin on it, and yeah. then what it does, it creates extra capacity mm. so that because uh, during during like when there's like a winter or mm. summer, then that extra capacity they take then, it away from the Bitcoin miners exactly. instead of taking it away from the homes. Exactly. So basically, oh. think, about, think about it like this. Think the, I, I'm a car dealer, right? So if yeah. you think about it, like if you have somebody like one sales guy that you know is going to sell 20 cars a month, uh -huh. that's your baseline. Right. And so for some grid areas, the Bitcoin miners act as that baseline mm. so that they know that they can they will buy 20 cars worth of electricity, right? right. So to speak. Um, and so then they can build more than that, mm. knowing that the investment is there because they know that there's a certain amount of people right. or whatever. So you really, what you're doing is you're solidifying the base every right. time you add Bitcoin mining to think Because Bitcoin miners, a lot of the, especially the really big operations, yeah. Yeah. they have to sign like five and ten year power contracts. Interesting. So they're paying like two or three million dollars down as a down payment to solidify the fact that they have rights now to that power for ten right. years. Right. Which, you know, if a factory goes in there and it only works for two years and then it goes defunct, then they're done. Whereas yeah. the Bitcoin miners are like, hey, we have no moving pieces, no advertising, no marketing, no employees, like yeah. relative to like, you know, there's, there's a lot less moving pieces. For so sure. It's a, economically, it's a very interesting thing to learn about. Yeah. Is, so is that a solution for what happens with the storm and yeah, the power absolutely. outage in the grid? Yeah, well, absolutely. as long as you have reliable power, the problem is that with the push towards, mm -hmm. you know, certain types of power, mm -hmm. they're less reliable. Mm. So effectively, the amount of power you can generate reliably is the only real number that matters. Okay. Because if like the wind stops blowing and all those turbines just sit there, then you're not generating your power from those. Right. right? Yeah. So the only way that the renewables really work is if there's like if they're layered and they have four or five layers of renewables and of and a, a fossil fuel backup. Yeah. Okay. So they have to have solar and wind on the yeah. same place and they have to have either coal or uh nat gas in order to really be strong or they yeah. could just or yeah. we could just do nuclear and then have ample yep. energy which would be it's smart. interesting too because like america's so far behind even just in solar panels absolutely like compared to the rest of the world so i feel like almost bitcoin and mining has like um sped it up for us to realize exactly. that we could do a lot more for <laughs> exactly and well we are at the oh, end yes. Of part one, part one of Bitcoin Bottom Line with Summer Ray. Yeah. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs>